Ready to tip it up. And the annual pink game for breast cancer research here at Michigan State. Both teams with the pink trim on their uniforms. The gray for the Buckeyes attacking right away. Count it and the foul. Taylor Theory going strong. Taylor Theory is the most underrated player in the Big Ten. Her game is entirely blue collar, but she always makes the right decisions. Reads this perfectly, comes off the screen. The switch happens for Michigan State. That's a height advantage that Theory has over D.D. Hageman, and she finishes with contact. Foul on Hageman. That was one of the things that Robin Fralick was afraid of. We've got to keep Ohio State off the free throw line. Attempted 26 free throws last time. Again, a five-point win for the Buckeyes. Martin's handling the Ohio State press right away. Hageman probes the paint. Julia Aroll, top 10 scorer in the Big Ten, misses the layup on the inside. That's the Rebecca Mikolashikova's size coming over and being disruptive as a potential shot blocker. J.C. Sheldon, kick back for Cody McMahon. Entry pass there. Nikolashikova can't handle it. Michigan State basketball. Spartans doing a good job of guarding inside of the perimeter. They don't want Ohio State to have a ton of room to operate offensively. And again, Spartans able to work their way through the Buckeye pressure. Dr. Robin Freeland about that says, we've got four or five ball handlers on the floor. Kind of taking the pressure. You've got to break it as a team. Get to the right spots. Kick basketball. It's a huge advantage. It's a recipe for success. And they're a team that uses the press effectively themselves on the inside. Underneath, out of bounds, and a beauty there for Moore with joint. And Ohio State, its last victory Thursday against Minnesota. They just broke open in the third quarter. A relatively close game. They ended up winning by 24 and on the inside. Sheldon so efficient. Leads this team in scoring. Close to 18 per game. Fourth in the Big Ten. Drive and score. Speed. Theory. Entry. Mikulashikova puts it on the deck. Turns and overshot it. Working her way back to the cup. Opening. Three on the way. And that's short out of the hands of Abby Kimball. Lead feed outlet and the lay-in. How about Celeste Taylor running the floor? Buckeye press today. What makes it so good? And she talked about hey. They like to play fast and they like to press. It's going to be a chess match today. Three on the way and down. Taylor able to drop it in. Sub 30% three-point shooter, but starting really to get comfortable here at Ohio State. Third stop in her college career. Two seasons to Texas, couple to Duke, and now setting up shop for the Buckeyes. Tate can't stick that first free throw. She had seven points on Wednesday, and another reliable score. An option for the Spartans. And somebody who can knock it down from three at 6 2, and she's being asked to play out of position a little bit, but she stepped up in a massive way defensively. Spartans. Pressure in the Buckeyes right at the timeline. Fortune did not have an over and back call. Sheldon, good hustle to get a second look in this trip. And McMahon couldn't put it in. Aaron running the floor. Ooh. Underneath, Osmond can't score it, but free throws cover. Six year player now for Michigan State. And out two years ago with a torn ACL. This is some time of freshman year with a foot issue. A career high 23 against Purdue earlier in the conference schedule. One of two at the line. Two point advantage here for number five in the nation, Ohio State. Taylor attacking. And Theron Halleck will pick up that, forcing the other to play in the half court. It's a, a fist match for sure. I love. The idea of trying to dictate and control pace of play. Both Michigan State and Ohio State are elite at getting that advantage. But when they go against each other, 
it got, starts to slow down because they want to do the same thing. Underneath a roll, nice catch in the lane. Beautiful, beautiful cut by a roll as well, getting herself in deep enough position to make that an easy finish for herself. And the grad student scoring it now over and back. Third turnover already on the Buckeyes here in the opening quarter. None thus far on the Spartans. Osmond. Kimball kickback. Halleck driving. Twist. Up. In. And the foul. Of course, your home rims are going to give you that little spin, right? Absolutely. They're delivering almost 11 points per game off the bench in her role. Fourth in this team. At eight. In the first meeting against the Buckeyes in Columbus last month. And that three-point old-fashioned play gives Michigan State the lead. Taylor, pull up three. Money. If you go under the screen as a player, you are taught to shoot the three. Celeste Taylor has already knocked down two in this game. Three of three in all from the floor. Ten points to guide the way thus far for Ohio State. Aroll, triple teamed on the inside, able to get it back to Hageman. Goes baseline, opening there, Osmond wide open, but pulled the string on the shot. Sheldon. Nikola Shakova, launching and landing three. It's her bread and butter. Nikola Shakova loves to spread the floor, stretch you out, draw the defense up, and knock it down from three. Normally, it's Michigan State that makes teams pay from long range. The Buckeyes right now already three triples. And how about that? There it is on cue. Abby Kimball delivers a triple. Guys trying to push. McMahon cruising down the lane and called for the charge. And that's the second for Cody McMahon. Cody McMahon is one of the most physical players in the Big Ten. So they've also called a technical foul here. That's a huge swing of things for Michigan State. Cody McMahon is one of the most difficult players to defend in the conference. She's going to have to be on the bench for the rest of this half with three fouls now. Joiner. Second one is good. So they get the point. And they have the possession off the charge. And now McMahon will be a spectator, you would presume, at least till quarter number three. You don't really have a choice at that point. Have to keep her on the bench. It's too valuable to potentially pick up a fourth foul in the second quarter, then what are you going to do in the second half? you got to keep her on the bench. Well, for a team that's had everything go its way so far in 2024, last loss for Ohio State coming and dealing with some adversity here on the road. Quick press break, and the easy bucket there, Miku Lashikova just lurking behind the D. The ball moves quickly, the ball hit the middle, and you had somebody wide open on the other end. Fabulous ball movement by the Buckeyes. And now the Buckeye press, paying dividends. How about Fury off the steal, trying to get another one. Joiner under the heat. Taylor Fury does not have an off switch. She is constantly on making the right decision. And now Osmond denied the inside. How about Sheldon? The elusiveness there to swing it around and score it. Hageman to the free throw line. What an awesome game for her, albeit in a losing effort against Indiana the other night. 19 points, tied her career high with 10 assists, her first college double-double. Ricky Hager makes so many good decisions. Heave in for Ricky Harris. She'll put it up and foul. And right there, Abby Kimball just trying to contest the box out. The contact down low. You have the right to landing safely on the ground as the shooter. And Abby Kimball encroached on the space. 
So Harris, Richard senior from Indianapolis, missed the first, making the second two. And the heave at the end of the opening quarter offline in Ohio State. Of a technical foul after picking up her second foul. This is where Michigan State has to take advantage and keep taking it at Ohio State. They're getting the whistle right now. They need to continue driving to the basket. And Taylor having a hot start. Another bucket for her, four of five. Joiner popping it from three. And it's controlled by Theory. Awkward landing there for Taylor, but she's back up, about ready to jump into the front court. Be curious with the foul issues, does that limit Kevin McGuff and Kenny press every time like he normally would? Absolutely, he's going to keep pressing because it's working right now. And two turnovers only on the Spartans, but the Buckeye press has been mighty disruptive. Opportunity from the corner. Hayroth couldn't get it. And now racing in to try to get the offensive rebound. Had her share of injury issues, that left foot injury a couple of years ago. Really finding her game in the Big Ten Conference foot. Nikolashikova had a little sliver. Said, hey, I'm going to take this and knocks it down. Hey, Rob got stuck trying to shatter that on the hedge and scrap it. She had enough time to get it off. Thousand point score in her career. Hey, Rob tried it from deep. Buckeyes kind of inducing some quick shots here for Michigan State. Ooh. And on the drive, shelled another gorgeous bucket. minutes of action out of the timeout Halleck with the attack missed but able to track it down herself and now circling her way to the bucket it's a great move by Theron Halleck staying aggressive and finishing with contact six left on the shot clock dumped down Miku Lashikova flips it up can't get it and she'll get called for the back and Cody McMahon on the bench with three picked up a technical after she seemed to question a charge call. Ooh. How about gorgeous spin move there for Jocelyn Tate? She's got a free throw cup. Theory's right up and down, but at the hip, she goes into Jocelyn Tate, and that's where the foul gets called. And that's Guess her what? third? That's the third on oh my Theory. Goodness. So McMahon and Theory, one would presume, going to stay on the bench for a bit. Missed free throw. Nice offensive rebound from Joyner. Back to Tate. And that one's going to be against Michigan State. To absorb the contact to get the charge called. Turnover. Spartans get one back. Hageman and another foul. Both of these teams generate plenty of points from the free throw line. Michigan State, about 14 per game, 50. Nine of 13 from the line already for Michigan State. Michigan State has not been able to establish any sort of offensive rhythm, but if you can get to the line and get some points there at least, you're in a good spot. 11 fouls already here on the Buckeyes. Sheldon. What a setup dribble there to give her the opening and then dashing through it for two. Michigan State trying to settle in here. And the travel. But right now, Ohio State is not allowing Michigan State to take advantage of that space because they're getting into the help line. They're attacking the gaps. And there's nowhere to go for the Spartans. Six turnovers now on Michigan State. Nikola Shikova, great setup there from Madison Green, working back from her knee injury last year. Madison Green has been a warrior, has dealt with a ton of injuries over the course of her career, but she constantly is working to come back. She wants to be a coach, and she makes the right decisions. Sheldon. Called for the charge. So Sheldon, Theory, McMahon, already each with three personal. Right now you have three of Ohio State's best players on the bench right now. Michigan State has to take advantage. You got an all-star team. 
in the Big Ten sitting on the pitch right now for Kevin I McGuff mean, and company. I would take that 3x3 team to the Olympics. And again, that all happened in the first 15 minutes of this game. Still top 25 of regulation at least to go. A-roll underneath, able to score it. Finally getting their big gun going. Just her second field goal in seven attempts from the floor. And she's been short a lot when she's had those three-point shots, but you just need to see one go in to really get confident and get going as a player. Emma Shoemate, the latest sub in for Ohio State. Out there with Harris, Mikulashikova, Taylor, and Reed. Mikulashikova, the primary focus of the offense, the dump down, and she delivers. I love how she's elevated her game in the post. Mikulashikova loves to pick and pop, and now she's able to go to town down low and make things work. 11 points, two assists thus far. A roll. And how about that? Another charge call. Again, a bit of a peculiar outing thus far. Guys with the better of it by a dozen. Shumi, that's what she does. Knock down three. I asked Kevin McGuff who his biggest X factor has been this season. He said Emma Shumi because of her ability to come off the bench and consistently hit three. It gives them a huge spark. Steal, Ohio State. Green able to get that theft. Guys already with 11 points off turnovers. And they average 25 points per game from giveaways of the opposition. Four left on the shot clock. Harris hoisting. Foul again and hits it. Chance for a four point play. And once again, shot clock winding down. Mikola Shakova draws a couple. Madison Green still draws three. You have to let the shooter land. Same exact thing taking place. Ricky Harris gets shot ready, lets it fly. He means a foul. Great finish by Ricky Harris. It's a four-point trip they for Harris. They are making Sparty pay big time right now. And another takeaway. And relentless. Robin Freilich talked about it. Said every pass, inbounds, everything is contested. You have to be alert at all times. She's in rhythm. She's making the right decisions defensively. And then on offense, she's taking what the defense gives her and making him pay. Set down the floor. Opportunity there for Lauren Ross, who's checked in. Flash towards the goal. And it's been from points off turnovers. But on this day, it's good. Got some of the boxes checked in that category. With plenty of work to do down the stretch of this game and of this regular season. And how about. Ebony Walker coming off the bench, getting an offensive rebound and a stick back. And now Halleck out of control. Doing the plays, the gritty plays, those rebound putbacks, battling in the post, huge. Taylor, pull up. Yes. This is search Tate working hard to get it back. Continue to try to play with pace, but play under control as they move forward. Foul on Celeste Taylor, her second. Robin Freilich in there talking with her coaching set. We mentioned the point before, the offense spectacular. Talked about the defense. She said we need more stops. Don't need a hundred more stops. We just need a few more stops in those close games. They get to use a bunch of nine field goals. Ohio State lighting it up. 21 of 31. 68% from the floor. Another quality look for Taylor and a rare miss for her. In the opening couple of quarters, and the Buckeye in foul trouble. Attack, attack, attack. That has to be Sparty's mentality headed into this second half. You have to try to get back to the line and force Ohio State to continue to be in foul trouble. We'll see if that translates into success. They go to A-roll right away on the inside. Now just two of eight shooting. Leading score for the Spartans. Held to just four points in the opening half. Rebecca Mikuleshikova is really using her size to be disruptive on A-roll. Sheldon, back for McMahon. Again, the players with the three fouls all back on 
the floor to start quarter three. That's where the Buckeyes have been devastating of late in Big Ten play. Joiner flashing in. That shot was altered. Tate able to track it down. Hageman puts it up. And that foul on Celeste Taylor. And even at times where it hasn't been, there's still fouls getting called. If you're Michigan State, after getting your doors blown off in the second quarter, look at what Ohio State's done in the third quarter. They have outscored their last three foes. 88 to 28. Kind of remind the players X, Y, and Z, this, this, and this. And he also I apparently said earlier this week, my, my pregame speeches must not be <laughs> as effective if we're not doing that right from the outset. Tate from the corner, side rim. I, I figured it had to be something more than like the magic juice boxes you would get sure. from moms as, as kids at half times of games. Or like in Space Jam, the, the magic stuff. Attack there from Theory. Loss at uh, Indiana on Thursday. They were able to take Friday off and then really get back after it in practice yesterday. But that is a challenge. And a team like Ohio State where they're going to run for 40 minutes and play this up-tempo athletic pace. It's tough when you are not fully rested to have to go against and play at your best. And another steal in the quarter to get a team that's been shorthanded without some of their primary post players down for the year with injury. McMahon, nice little assist. Third quarter success, at least at the outset here for Ohio State. Tip there, active hands again, held ball, and the arrow favors Ohio State. Coming up here in April, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see how things shake out over the course of the next couple of weeks, but right now, J.C. Sheldon has been so impressive, not only showing her ability to score, but that IQ piece, which is so valuable at the next level. So with some of the foul trouble, maybe not as much time evaluating them, but... What they've done certainly been worthy of checking out. Now a hard fall. So McMahon the free throw line. Been able to knock that down. Ohio State, like everything else in this game, efficient at the strike two. They're 10 of 11 from the line. As they have built the lead to 31. to tell you where this is for the Spartans. Thursday against Indiana, they had 30. McMahon left open, short on the pull-up. Halleck rolling up the floor. Spartans just one of four early stages of this half. Eight points on the afternoon. Shell oh. in denial mode. Hello. The top 20 block artists in the country able to get that stop. And it leads to a bucket for Halleck on the other end. Three consecutive makes from the floor for the Spartans. Underneath. Theory. Coming out of the shooter's hand, she blocks it, so it's not a foul. Then Theron Halleck staying patient, getting things to go. Spartans doing a nice job, dictating pace, but you should see the Buckeyes hit a three right there. And Sheldon calmly hits that corner three. Kind of stem the tide for the ball. Osmond, nice step, and the blow by there against Miku Lashikova. Finally with her first field goal of the game. Huge. Realizing that she can get Mikola Shkova up in the air and then attack. In. Opportunity for Theory and the charge drawn. And that is number four on Taylor Theory. So the junior having a seat. She had a double double against the Spartans last month. Another. Buckeye turnover and an easy. He's even happier with how they've been in the half court, forcing tough shots just like that. 
and doing it in every capacity on the defensive end. So much of great half court defense comes down to cutting off angles, and everybody in the gray jersey has been able to do just that, backing off, getting into gaps. Sheldon. Top of the key three is the Buckeyes. Seven of nine from long range, 78%, still 64% shooting overall. That's Drain for Ohio State in the opening two quarters. Continuing to dump in buckets here in quarter three. Mikulasha calls the six fast break points for the Spartans. Tate baseline attack. And able to lay it in. Jocelyn Tate has emerged as somewhat of the next factor for Sparty. When she can get scoring, they become so much more difficult to defend. She's got eight, one of three Spartans with that many. Palak, Aaron, the others. But there are three Ohio State players with 16 or more already, and that includes Miku Lashikova. Sweet drive there for Halleck. As he go. Sheldon. She'll pull up. Off the side rim. But nothing really sideways for Kevin McGuff at Met Ohio State. Celeste Taylor was talking about the defense. She loves it. Says she's always been athletic. Not about skill. I feel like defense is about pride. Not letting people. Just two of ten, 20% from three-point land for one of the best three-point shooting teams in the nation. There's the three. Theory training. Eight of 12 from distance are the Buckeyes. Kick out Osma. That's short. And the rebound, Karen. Michigan State played great against Indiana that week, too. Almost should have won that game in Bloomington. But nonetheless, look, everyone's going through this. You're in an 18-game schedule. You see Cody McMahon get the bucket to go. And everyone's tired right now. Everyone's beat up. No one feels 100%. you got to push through discomfort and that fatigue that sets in. Nice bounce look. Beautiful setup from Hageman. And the field goal there for Halleck. Halleck now with a dozen. And Taylor too easy at the other end. And again, the Buckeyes with the energy to scamper down and score. Cody McMahon has done a great job assisting today. She's got four on the day. Got five now. I was going to say, it feels like more. But she's facilitating at a high level right now. Join her. But the competition level when you have UCLA, USC, Oregon, and Washington enter women's basketball wise, oh, off the chain. Miku Lashikova, another delightful dish. 27 team assists on 33 made buckets. It means everybody's spreading the floor of their threats. He talked about he thinks there's still room to grow for this team, which is good. Clearly, they're playing their best basketball of the season, which is what you want to start to do at this time of the year. Said last year was interesting. We came out flying. First month was great, then we dipped with some injuries, and then we had a rare kind of second peak of the season. It's a big win for them if this continues to go the way it has. Make no mistake, Michigan State not playing their best right now, but this is still by all means an NCAA tournament team. Certainly the case. Shoemate. And then Freilich's won everywhere she's been, be it Division II at Ashland, Bowling Green in the back, and now here already with the Spartans. In the Big Ten, it's not like, oh, we can't have a get-right game against this team, whatever. I mean, you look at teams in the bottom of the Big Ten, it's women and women again. Taylor with a seam and confidently cruising in. A 20-point afternoon for her. She's so balanced when she goes up as well. She has been so poised throughout her offensive game today. Continue to pile on points to the advantage. Nikola Shikova removed the pivot step, the pivot foot. Forward change left to go here in the fourth. I was going to say, good math in your head. I, I don't do math. I was told there was no math. <laughs> Well, when the numbers are escalating like this, you got to be on top of it. Okay. And that's why I have an iPhone calculator. 
Osmond, kick back, Hageman. Shoemate, handoff for Walker. Ebony flashing in, throws it up. And it's an offensive foul. Osmond will pull up and trade it. Great from the standpoint of pressing, from getting things going offensively. Michigan State just never got into that rhythm. The game the other night, when you're so close to winning that game, that one's going to linger. Is this one you can just kind of look past it and, and push it away? You have or do you to. really dive in? You have to push this away. You're, you're in the grind of a, a conference play. You're in the grind right now. Michigan State's fighting for a double bye. The way they're playing is certainly making their case. Look at that profile, 4-2 and two against ranked teams, including... That thrilling overtime win against Iowa, and again, that game circled there on March 3rd as potentially the decider in the conference. That is going to be a blast, all caps. Yeah, and again, Buckeyes will have to go to Iowa City, and presumably, should each team kind of handle their business the rest of the way, although, as we saw today for Iowa, that was not an easy case to do. Ohio State were to win that game potentially records against the third place team but that's tied to the fourth place team and so on so we'll see how it plays out down the stretch in conference the most important piece is you just have to control your own destiny if that's the opportunity afforded to you this scenario that scenario what's going to happen in March but as a team you have to tune everybody out and focus internally on what's right in front of you and this surge here for the Spartans in the last four minutes dozen points in a row. It's going to make the margin look much more respectable, but make no doubt this was a one-sided affair. Again, the Ohio State D breaking open another one. This is one of the best games I've seen Ohio State play this year, too, from a balance standpoint, forcing turnovers, scoring with those points off turnovers. I mean, they are firing on all cylinders right now. Halleck trying to get one more before the Spartans go. She does. But still, Ohio State with a convincing victory on the road, making 11 straight wins.